Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Pinch and welcome to this first look video for the game of Fossil Hunters. So what is Fossil Hunters? At its heart it is a puzzle game, although there's a dash of exploration in there and also some skill stuff too. It looks gorgeous, it's in this lovely sort of cartoony style, the soundtrack is lovely, so yes it is very well presented. Now you can play single player if you so wish, or multiplayer, you can have up to four people and there are four characters to choose from. And the game recommends controller support, which, having played the game, I entirely agree with. There's some movement mechanics in the game that would be pretty tricky with a mouse and a keyboard. So yeah, I'd say I'd say a controller is pretty much essential to this, to not make it frustrating. So what do you actually do? You go digging for dinosaur fossils, as the name would imply. You've got a little pickaxe type thing, you work your way through the various levels, digging through squares of rock to find the fossils underneath. Then when you find the fossils, you can drag them around to make complete dinosaur skeletons. So you can attach like the head and a body bit and a tail and you can do all that sort of stuff and you build them up. The bigger, the better. For each complete skeleton, you get some money, which you can spend on stuff like lamps to light areas up and scare away beasties, which we shall look at a little bit later on. Each level takes you deeper underground. So you start off on the top level. You start off actually not below the ground and each level takes you deeper and deeper. But... There is a sort of blue magical barrier thing under the elevator, which you use to traverse all the different levels, which you need to remove to proceed. So on each level, there is a blueprint of a dinosaur skeleton and you have to drag the right fossils into place and the right orientation onto the blueprint to remove the barrier to unlock the next level. There is also a quest given to you by the Collector, which is a mysterious voice on the end of the radio on the very first level. So on the sort of the ground floor, on the surface, if you like. Uh, you can do that quest at any point and it will earn you a reward. So these little missions can be something like uh, make a dinosaur skeleton with two heads or make a dinosaur skeleton with five claws, that kind of stuff. And if you do these, you get gems, which you can then use to unlock more parts of the level. Also dotted around the place are scrolls, which reveal little clues about both the level you're on and also clues about the other missing fossil hunters, because there are other people who have come down into these very same depths that you are in, but they have gone missing and they have never returned. So yes, when you find the scrolls, it fills in a bit of your journal and your journal begins to paint a picture, which is the, the general storyline. So as well as a puzzle game, there is an actual storyline, which is rather lovely. If it all sounds simple so far, then there are some things that are going to cause trouble for you. I think I only got to the fifth level down, but I was certainly hampered by rockfalls, which happen when you dig out lots of squares. The rockfalls come down and they fill in squares you've already cleared, and they also destroy any fossils where they fall. So you might have got a nice haul of fossils, a big rockfall comes down, it'll land on the, the sort of squares that you've dug out with fossils on, and the fossils will be destroyed. So uh, yes, you have to be careful not to do that. Maybe, you know, some tactical digging if you've got a load of fossils in a particular area. You don't want to dig around there until you've moved them out of the way, perhaps. And also, there are these little sort of creepy monster things who attack the fossils. Uh, they don't attack you, they only attack the fossils and they destroy the fossils. So you have to take care of the little kind of creepy monster guys as well. Yes, yeah, so they don't hurt you, they're just an annoyance, but you can sort of push them around and you can push them off ledges and push them off the edge of the sort of map and stuff. So they're not too bad, but yes, you have to be wary if you start lining up fossils and putting them in a particular place and then you run off to get some more and a little monster pops up, you can come back and find that it's eaten all of your fossils. <laughs> And that, in a nutshell, I think is it in its very sort of very basic essence. It's a lovely little puzzle game. It's got a mysterious story behind it. It looks gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous. It's got a good mix of puzzling and exploration. And I think once you've got the hang of it, it's pretty easy to play. If it sounds like your thing, it comes out on Steam later today. So please go and check it out. If you've enjoyed this look at Fossil Hunters, then please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Ted, run, 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 Ted, 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 run quicker, Ted. Oh, Ted is green. Oh, dear. Timmy is looking very bad. Okay. There's still the same amount of water. I'm guessing we didn't get robbed. Ah, we got robbed. In no way is this going to break the radio, Ted. And you've broken the radio, Ted.